had really strong memories of seeing the man with the white suit, part of this Ealing Collection 1. Um, and it's amazing, you know, it's been decades since I've seen this, how many sequences and scenes actually stuck with me. You know, Alex Guinness gives a, a wonderful performance as Sidney Stratton, a, a young inventor who works for all of these clothing companies but has this idea he's working towards somebody, working more towards working towards something and he always seems to be getting fired from these places. They don't understand what he's trying to create until he stumbles across something and he's allowed to continue with that and that is the creation of this wonderful fabric that never wears, that never gets dirty and is just constantly fantastic. But that's also the crux of the problem and it takes us a little while in the movie to get here. Sydney creates this suit, this white suit, um, that is uh, almost indestructible. And one of the fabric companies thinks this is amazing until it's pointed to his attention that this is going to ruin people. It's going to stop all the workers in the factory. It's going to stop people that create fabric. It's going to stop people from spending money because once they buy some clothes made of this, they'll never have to buy anything again. And it becomes a real quandary for the industry for, for uh, people who make money for corporations and for little people as well who work for these big corporations and that's the ultimate ethos behind this you know you've got the little man Sydney who wants to shout about his invention tell everybody because he's made a life changing thing but that's going to throw the world into turmoil something things can be too good and are not ideal for people to check out or to actually use. This movie is rather whimsical and fun and done in an almost fairy tale like fashion, but at the heart of it, it's a damning indictment of big business when you look at it. And you have this wide eyed innocence of uh, Sydney be steamrollered by this conglomerate of people, this uh, hidden uh, clandestine group of people who, yes, are rich, the 1%, who are just deciding for everybody else that they don't need this thing because it's going to harm their pocket. They're not thinking of, of the people that it's really going to harm, the people who strive every day, who work finger to the bone to create their money, but they're going to be put out of jobs as well. But it's just one of those things that tackles all these different kinds of subjects. But while doing that, has a really fun, engaging tale at the heart of it with some really fun visuals. I loved Sydney and how his evolution from somebody who had to keep his experiments secret to ultimately getting to overtake the lab to be really over the top with it and fun and get a little bit of, I wouldn't say power, but um, freedom to do what he wants to ultimately having this wonderfully bright white crisp suit that just shines on the camera in the black and white photography uh, that just never gets a mark on it. It looks great. It's fun and whimsical and it has something to say. It's not, you can't say that about a lot of movies, but this one holds the test of time and I think is really fun if you just want that. And if you're learning to dig a little bit deeper in it, you're going to find something rewarding as well. A great performance by Guinness. I think you'd be interested in this one. I'd love to know your thoughts on the man in the white suit. Let me know in the comment box below. I'll see you next time on Man V Film.